have a starter edition, you're not going to be able to um, chat in the chat channels, but you can download the... Go to the Starbo. Arrows client so you yes. can talk to people. On starbomod.com. We have an external client that is a uh, third party that will find you people to play with and even give you rankings and all that, so it's an external ladder client. And then you find your person in Battle.net and then just you know invite them to the game and play your game. Indeed, and even if you don't want to play any like ranked game, you just want to test out the mod, it, I still recommend getting that external client, just because that's where every server player hangs out, so it's easier just to find people there. And a lot of times people just play casually and, and find it, because there's a chat group there that everyone gets gets automati automatically invited to yeah. as you log on. The, the chat in Battle.net is a terrible substitute for something like IRC. Yeah. Indeed. <coughs> oh, I just swallowed. Bless you, bless you. Spit goes in stomach, not in lungs. <clears throat> okay, remember brain. <clears throat> Bad saliva. Okay, Frascar in the top left corner on Andromeda. <clears throat> and since that was the and first... Okay, <laughs> there we go. On the bottom right corner, we have Beastie Cutie, our blue Terran. Awesome, awesome. And at the top left corner, we also have Franskar Yelzerk. Yay, yay. I'm just gonna do something real quick. Where is that? Franskar is actually two people, so we had to introduce him twice. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Man, look at this. What is going on? There's gonna be a sneaky expansion. Oh, I love this. All right. Oh, this is awesome because Franskar is gonna scout this if he if he scouts up with the drone, and he is. He's gonna see nothing, and it's gonna be like, oh, he's proxying me in the middle, and it's gonna like throw up tons of defenses and stuff, and it's just an economic build from Beastie Cutie. It's like the... Yeah, it's... It's a fake choice. Oh, I don't know. If he gets walled off. Yeah, he's actually gonna get walled off. Oh. Okay. Uh, then Maybe? Just... If money pops to 100? No. Beastie Cutie's timing is so good. That's why Depot's going at 100. Oh, no. 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 It's not. It's not. Right. I, I think it's kind of cool that he's scouting this. Because, well, see, if he hadn't scouted a barracks there, like, if he, if he hit, hit the barracks somewhere too, I, that would have really thrown Franskar off guard. Oh, early refinery, I think we're gonna see mech today. Alright, sees a refinery. But he doesn't see doesn't the expansion. see the expansion. That... Barracks is late. For, uh, for a barracks games. first. But you know what, the drone is stuck in the main now, so... He's just gonna poke around and, and be annoying. <gasps> he might never even see the expression. The expression might lift up, land down, and he might. Well, he's gonna check the edges. He's like, there's something going. Wow, oh, he's, he's rally there. It's gonna see it. Oh, there we go. It is seen. So now Franskar knows what's up. Is he gonna see the factory? Yeah, he's even gonna see the factory, probably. He is indeed. So, BC Cutie all laid bare. Nope, nope, the factory. It's not going to get seen, but I mean, you can kind of infer via the refinery. Yeah, yeah, the refinery was so early. It's Maybe, like, I don't know, because that could be the tech lab, too. Well, yeah, well, it's either Reapers or or, or Mech, pretty much, because you don't get a no tech lab that early. No one wants a Reaper, the, Reaper the, any, any of these series. Uh, yeah, the, imagine why, huh? <laughs> I bet it's because Kalevi's not playing. I bet it's because we nerfed him to death in the last patch, remember? <laughs> nah, they're still useful. Well, they're, they're you just can't kill your opponent straight up with Reapers. All well, in. Yeah, a couple of Reapers <laughs> early on can be useful, but you can't just yet. And to be fair, who wants to watch that? Yeah, that's that's the other thing. It's so it's so painful to watch that happening. It's not even a fun micro. It's just scoot and shoot with the Reapers. Um, so kind of happy that's gone, to be honest. But I have seen some... Actually, I have a game from Kalevi that I want to cast at some point where he does go for late-game Reapers versus Protoss, and he does wonders with them. It's really cool to see. Uh, so it's still not a completely useless unit with a, with a, with a late-game upgrade. You can kite Zealots all day with that, man. It's really strong. So we're going to have Tech Labs, we're going to have Starports. He chooses Mech on this map, which I think is kind of... No, odd. it's not Mech, it's 1-1-1. One, one, one. Oh, well, I think it's going to end up with Mech if the 1-1-1 one, one, one fails, though. And it's kind no, of... I don't know, it could be, it could be Marine, because he's getting Tech Lab. Sure. That's probably for the Banshee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's for the Banshee. But I don't know, it could transition to Bio. Oh, to the Overseer Stop. sees everything. It's a tank! And After Viking. that one Vulture, it is a tank. There's no and a Viking. Lines. This is just straight up mech. He's just making the Viking to be safe versus middle. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna go straight up mech on this map, and this is quite an open map to go mech on, to be honest. 
Well, the good thing about this map for Mech, though, if you get a siege position at your opponent's natural, you basically have him pinned down forever, because he has all of his bases in there. Like, you, you just have one choke to control in the mid-game, and you pretty much denied all the bases from, from Zerg that way. BCQ is still playing a really good vision oh, war game, oh, where he's got the patrolling marines. The so bottom left and the top right are going to be scouted as soon as something goes up. If you look at the Viking firing or a couple of volleys ago, some of those missiles were going crazy. I think we need to make the... I think the offset is a little bit crazy for the Viking missiles. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, well, like, you didn't see it now because if you didn't see the first wall, but the first wall they were, like, shooting off the map. It was crazy. Um, so we'll have to look at the behavior of those missiles. Sorry, it's... The Semrus can't control a lot of the systems in Starbow, like the specific uh, damage stuff. Actually, Franskar made the... Most of the Viking missiles, though, with you, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, so that's why I mentioned these things to him. It was mostly Franskar on that one, but I helped. Yeah. Teach. Franskar is getting really good with the map editor, by the way. He's, he can he can he can pretty much build entirety of, of Starbow, most of it, right now, if you wanted to. I think it would take forever, but I think he has the skills to do it. Um, BCQ is sneaking a Vulture in here, and it doesn't have speed on it, and it's not even on the way. But he's still gonna get a nice little scout there. He's gonna see the mutilist on the way. He's gonna see pretty much everything. And Franz should start churning out more Vikings than he will. He he knows how many Vikings. Once you have like five or six so Vikings, so many Vikings. You can just. But they need the ground Dude, support. Once you they, have three, it's no longer like uh, a matter of getting sniped. Three Vikings is still a little bit scary, actually. I mean, if, if you're under missile turrets. Yes, right? un under missile turrets, you're fine. But if you're like out in the open, you want to have like five or six. The scourge are gonna get picked off by missile turret before they come even close to it, so that's gonna help out a lot. Nice missile turret ring here from BCQ. He knows that Viking uh, mutis, mutis are the greatest threat to early game mech. And oh, the Viking just misses it. He has to be very careful with them. He can't afford to get sniped off. He wants to. It's a it's a very tricky micro with these Vikings. You have to like. Attack and then move somewhere. Yes. Like oh, that. Okay, didn't get any hits off. Beautifully no. done. Beautifully done. Indeed. If you attack and stand too long, then you're just gonna be stuck there firing. Yes. If you just aim with the Vikings, you just you just move into your opponent as you're attacking them, which is horrible. But if you scoot back and then fire and then keep scooting back, this is very Well you you timing. start the attack and then run backwards. Yes. And then like Ugh. So you have, to, you have to like dedicate to a, to where your Vikings are, sort of, when you're firing off these missiles. Yeah, so it's it's quite tricky micro. They're they're kind of cumbersome to use, uh, but reward skill a lot. And I I like the part that it, they're best when they're retreating, kind of, because that means that they're not super good, super offensive. Like you can't like they're not like blink stalkers. They can just hunt down your opponent the same way. They they have to be careful and scoop back once in a while. They're more like the more, definitely more like the Corsairs versus Mutalists in that regard. In the meantime, but, I, mean, I think Corsairs can be quite a bit more aggressive than Vikings. Yeah, true, true. Vikings, uh, you gotta Vikings be love support. Ah, uh, I just got a heart from day nine. That was kind of nice. Oh. Yes. I sent him a heart. No, he he tweeted about this, I, or he retweeted it, so I just sent him a heart. For <laughs> and then he hearted me back. Oh. Alright, so we do have the 9 o'clock up from Franskar, and this is exactly what he should do. He should just start taking bases, yes. get his money up, get Eco up, start pumping dudes, At some get point, drop tech. And he is getting drop tech, he's getting the Overlord's feet, he's getting drops for Overlords, and he's going to be able to start doing some really mean drop in your main sort of Hydra action. In a couple of minutes, BCQ is going to have a mean mech army, ready to push out with enough uh, Vikings to kill any number of mutalists. And at that... Oh! oh big radiates! Radiate oh, plus Vikings! Oh man, how do you split first that? You don't. Wow, Vikings are just... They're just so mad at the mutalists now. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, the mutalists... <laughs> Stay out way! Is Stay it is all away. about the Hydra now. Yes. But yeah, like I said, in not too long... Ooh, I actually almost lost the Viking there. In not too long, ooh, there's going to be a really scary fire. mech army from Beast Security, and and in in the meantime, Franskar is going to have to get a big of an army and a big of an econ as he possibly can to prevent that push from going out. Just attack where the mech army isn't, try to keep them in his base, hit, like, do really, really mean Zerg infiltration sort of tactics with drops and that sort of thing. Yes. Find where he's exposed. 
And okay, so he's actually getting Raider's oh, oh, Spike. Oh, oh, he's just moving in with Hydralisks right into Sea Shack Fire. Really bad idea. There he's we scouting. go. Scouting. <laughs> uh, I guess we would call it scouting. Greater Spire? What do you. Why? I'm hmm. so confused. I guess. Maybe. Guardians? Oh, we gotta Maybe? drop a couple of vultures. Only two vultures. Oh, he's <laughs> dropping mines there. Oh, Franskar wanted to. Why don't you expand there, but... Oh! Almost loses those Hydralis. In the meantime, the Vultures are gonna do some damage. Almost kills the Queen, actually. Gets cleaned up without... with pretty minimal loss. Uh, on both sides, of course. Those this Vultures are very cheap. Isn't actually the Oh, the Hydras get in! Oh, they can kill a... F oh, they can kill a Vikings and Science Wilson. That's really expensive units. That yeah, man, if you, can, if you can actually take out their anti-air force, you can do a tech switch, and it's just gonna destroy mech. And you see how quickly those Hydras, if they're able to get on top of tanks, just yeah. go to work so fast. That explosive damage is really good versus the tanks. Uh, now, uh, this is important too. I think this map, map isn't all that bad for mech because you can get three bases really well but just defending one choke. And then extending to this fourth base isn't that far of a stretch. But the fifth base for Beastie Cutie... He's probably gonna have to take an island or something. And yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a nightmare to try to contest. But at that point, he's probably gonna be trying to do some death push going on. Yeah, he might not need any more bases to to get into the late game. Oh, he can kill a lot of overlords with these Vikings. If you get enough Vikings, you can just slaughter groups of overlords instantly. And so this is a style of play that is not incredibly com well more common at the lower levels of Brood War just because it's easier to do than bio. Um, but in Starbo, of course, there's lots of differences, so... Yeah. It's not okay. necessarily like an inferior strat to mech is uh, the typical KT style. Yeah, mech is in no way easy, just because it's not bio. And it's very positional. And like we said earlier, Franskar, like we haven't seen... Okay, yeah, I was about to say that when it happened, but we haven't seen Franskar attack Beastie directly yet, and that is the completely right move. He's containing, he's containing. He's trying to deny as many expansions as possible, expand as much as he wants himself. Maybe drop in the main base to things like that, but he never wants to attack straight into siege tanks, and he never wants yeah. the siege tanks to end up at his front door. That's pretty much when you're done and over with. And he's he trying to abuse the fact that he's got a solid map control advantage for as long as possible. Yeah. So he's only going to try to find fights where he's really favored. Oh, he's gonna try and drop Let's here, but there's four Vikings, but they're patrolling it away! Oh, well. bad timing for the Vikings. And the Hydras are gonna go in there, and there's so many mines in position. Oh, and wow. tanks. He's already so set up. He's even got a planetary fortress ready for this Doom Drop. Look at how prepared he is for the Doom Drop. Oh, wow. That's incredible. God. B Security knows how to play mech. Oh, one spider mine kills them all! Oh, man. Dude, he is, he is the most prepared Terran in the to world. Rule the all. Oh, the drop has been flying <laughs> over so much creep, and Franskar hasn't seen it. And I have voices main. getting worse. Oh, Night is Worm! And Ultralis Cavern. Oh, man. Alright, oh. he's got Lings. He's dropping Lings. He's just gonna continue the seeping unit train into oh, the enemy. Here Aim. comes the Nidus Room. He can even upgrade it so it so it spews out units even faster. And oh, the man. Filer is already out there. This is Does he have cracklings? I don't know. Hang on. And no, he doesn't no, have cracklings. No, that would make a huge them. difference, but Oh, he's just he's not, he's sending them okay, he needs to send in like one link here, one oh, link there. Activate the planetary, there we go. Yeah, he's gonna. I don't think this is gonna be effective for Franskar. In the meantime, though, he's trying to take down the fourth base, but oh, there's so much stuff there. But no, actually, there's not that much no, stuff there. No, he's got the Dark Swarm. He's got the Dark Swarm. Now, tanks Just... do shoot through Dark Swarm with splash damage on units that are not burrowed. So, they also splash damage. Oh, okay, it's, it's complicated, but long story short, <laughs> the, the Siege Tanks can, can counter Dark Swarm softly in, in Star Wars now. Whereas before, they didn't really counter them that well. Yeah, so it is now accurate to Brood War in that regard. Yeah. Oh my god, the Hydra somehow got on top of the Siege Tanks. 
And, okay, the Knight is from over that island, I like that. And I also like the Scourges on the southern part to know that he's that uh, BC Security is not going to expand there anytime soon. He's upgrading the Nidus Worm to a greater Nidus network that can just spew out units as quickly as, almost as the Nidus Canal could in Brood War. I, I really just want to see a flood of links go into the main of Beastie Cutie. Like, it oh, just seems like it would be so good. Beastie Cutie is trying to push at the same time though, and he's going to try and establish push his way northward and kill these bases of Frasca and establish them as his own. Now he has the greatest Nidus network, it has 300 HP, someone said at 850 HP, that's not correct. What did they talk about? I have no idea. Okay. Someone whined about something that's not accurate. Um... Wouldn't be the first time. No, but I shouldn't. Anyway, Viper's in the field, does he have a parasitic domination? No he doesn't, but he's gonna make a Nidus worm He's gonna get Nidus network all over the place here, and this is very good play for this map. And France, I bet BCQ feels a little bit pressed against the wall here. He's gonna have a Viper coming in doing nothing. Oh, he's oh, France is finding where there's thin layers of siege tanks and exploiting it, trading cost efficiently. I was and by cost efficiently, I mean he can be losing money in these fights, but he's still ahead just because he's mining so much more. Well, look at the supply though. Like, BC Cutie is max, and Franscar is. Well, he's getting there, but. He's got a he, bank to work with though. He can make a ton of links anytime. Well, BC Cutie too, he doesn't have the gas though, but he has the minerals, and I think. He still doesn't have speed on his vultures? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's really, really bad. Oh, he'll That's be. It's like really bad. Yeah, actually, he could really exploit vultures. Yeah. With how, with how defenseless. Some of the bases of Franskar are. Look at this. Vultures in here? Vultures in here, definitely. Oh! Vultures. At the top right, the Knight is now coming into play. Oh, but I think now it's not going to But it's work. Hydras! Oh, it's right now. Oh, it tries to empty them up, but it's too late. Oh, it's The Vultures were getting the Dark Swarm. Look at that and the gigantic, were not. gigantic Knight is Worm death animation. That thing is huge. In the meantime, he keeps this high ground position here. It's not going to do much for him, though. Vulture speed is not on the way. We got Yamato cannon incoming. Weapon rail. I thought it was just called Yamato. He's clearing cannon. up mines in the main. Clears up a ton of them. Oh, but there's and a he's point. going for it. Well, there's not enough though. There's four planetary mines. This planetary. There's a drone for whatever reason. He's just gonna waltz past it. He's in the production. Well, he's in the production. Only five. If five he can something. stream in more guys. That's gonna be huge. If he can get in a stream of links, that planetary got activated, so now he can easily clean out those tanks. Why is there no speed on the vultures? I'm so bugged by this. <laughs> He's got a 3k bank. He could easily just pump so many links. Yeah, yeah. True. Oh, but man, his rallies with those island bases, that's really throwing him off. Look at that 12, he's got drones trying to rally somewhere weird. Oh yeah, yeah. That is going to be difficult. Uh, anyhow, BCQ is taking the entire right side of the map now, and he's slowly coming back into this game. I don't know if he was ever behind, but he's like, he was oh. at a position where he couldn't really do much, but now he can start to do things. And BCQ's main, uh, some lings, mind bombed some yeah, vultures. Yeah, I saw, I saw. It was pretty nice. Oh wow. Night is Worms on the High Grounds by the Basis is, is the name of the game today. He's just attacking at every single angle possible with small groups of units. He's also making Mutalisks, which I guess will be Guardians slash Devourers. I think, yeah, I think he may have spotted the potential battle curse for transition, or I, I actually know that they have played each other before in long macro games with Mech, and he knows that his opponent likes to, to go for battle cruisers. Uh oh. There's a scan on top of that, that Nidus Worm, so now he knows it's there. there There's a big layer of mines. And BC Cutie is somehow managing to... <gasps> oh! Oh, the air fleet just got knocked out! Ooh. All the science vessels go down, a good portion of si of Vikings. It's actually quite big, we got more... Battle he could go straight to Muta. Actually, no, he's blown, yes. Yeah, and, and Battle Cruisers are incoming, so I don't know if that's gonna help too much. But the Devourers would be very good. Still slow of Vultures. Well, we know that BCQ is not stream sniping because he still has not created those Vultures yet. God, I can only imagine how hectic this game is to play. Yeah, man, look at the APM on and these both guys. Both their shoots. They're currently at both 200 APM, pretty much. There's just so much stuff all over the map to care about. 
In the meantime, Franzgar tries to defend the middle here uh, as Beast Security tries to attack this. Another Knight is Worm is going to come to this base. Oh, he's going to probably try and expand over there. I mean, if BC Cutie, he's going to try making it a split map scenario, right? But yeah. on this map, the 12 and the 6, because they're islands, that's quite a bit harder to do as mech. How long is this Knight Swarm been morphing? That morphed last time I checked it. Maybe got killed in the meantime. That's really weird. I was like there five minutes ago and it was the exact same image. Hmm. How much Air Force do we have out of BC? He's got. Three BCs, three Vikings, four four science vessels. Yeah, actually, a meta switch wouldn't be too shabby. That could well, actually he's, clean he's up gonna need a whole some lot of units. Varus with them. He's gonna move in with just a small group of Hydras again. But as long as he can trade Hydras for mech units, he's pretty much fine. Oh, the Hydras! Him. If the Hydras get on top of the BCs, I think he's just actually like he's maxed with a bank. I think he's just actually almost done any. Like he's trying to make something happen with his units because he doesn't have to. Well, I don't know. He's he's built. He's still building Hydras. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's three maxed. I thought it was going to make Mutalist now, but no. Doom drop onto... <laughs> it's so weird. Like, the places he's Doom dropping is so funny. Oh, so much irradiate on all those Overlords, and it splashed on all those Hydralists, too. And these Hydras are kind of sitting ducks up there. He does. He gets in. He gets in. He does, but I don't know how far he'll get in, though. Like, there's so many siege tanks on the and low he ground. Get, he gets rid of the missile network, and he can actually push and attack that planetary. Yeah, it is a hard fight, of course, but I mean, that's just... The Vikings need CD to get him out of there. Oh, oh. Oh, we need to fix this. Um, oh, gets another Viking. Do you remember how we changed the size of the siege tanks? Uh, yes. But the death animation is still tiny from the test map. Oh, well. Oh, another Viking goes down. Now the Mutus, oh, which comes in after that Viking goes down. Six Mutus Oh, my away. God. But it's already maxed because he's making 20 Zerglings for whatever reason. I don't know why he does that. Well, well I mean, look at his bank. It's well, he's insane. Gonna throw away more space. Just Two throwing planetary fortresses. You know what's better than one planetary fortress? Two. Yes. Look at that. Also three. <laughs> so much dark from. Oh, one goes down. One oh instantly. man, this is what he needed so long ago. If he can. Oh my god. But his opponent's was... maxed. He can't reinforce in his main base. Oh, true. Spews up more units. If lings with with if cracklings get into the factories, BCQD needs to remake factories True. or lift. Or he can bring back the battle cruisers, which he is. He's got oh my points. god, it's happening! The lings are in. Tanks are dead. He can't make anything in his main. The planter is on cooldown. He's trying to expand with. He's got planetaries everywhere. This is this is the mech machine going full. Oh. <laughs> BC's clean up that Nidus Canal that should have been done a long time ago. Oh yeah. And they're gonna wipe out everything. Make sure make sure but no factories fall today. Also gonna reveal themselves, though. They haven't really revealed themselves how many there are. Uh, so. no, uh, they already know. Uh, France has known for a while. He saw BC. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at the center of the map. <laughs> He's got so many CCs. He's just planting them around and using them as planetary fortresses. Oh god. Wow, he can shoot from behind the spine crawler. Oh, it's really funny. Okay, so, so BCQ is going to try and push his position now to the middle. It looks like a very small army actually, but that's because he's got so much army invested in defending various locations, so he doesn't have that much army to, do, to go out and attack. And in the meantime, Franskar is doom dropping the top right part of this map. He's going to bring some ultralists this time, and he might be able to do some damage. And he's fine sacrificing that middle base, by the way. He really has to do that. The mutas are completely forgotten about. They're at the six. Oh, the mutas. Look at what they're doing. The six o'clock? Oh, there's the six. Oh, guardians, there we go. Oh, and at the top right. Big drop with altars in tow. Takes out that top right base, cuts That's the it. mining. I like his backup plan, Terry, in case the first one dies. Oh, here comes the Vikings. They could kill all these overlords. He's got an Ultra in one of the OVs that he hasn't dropped yet. Oh, that's actually kind of big. Well, it's really uh, hard to kill have them. Have you seen Branscar's bank? He's got 11k minerals. It's crazy. You can probably afford to lose a couple of overlords. And he actually lost some Vikings there too because of the Hydralisks. Oh, but all the battle cruisers are way out of position now, so Franskar could, yeah. Franskar's gonna do some damage with these Guardians. Because... Oh, and, and Goliaths are, are pumping now because he does know there are Guardians. Yeah, that's a good choice. Like, of course, he can just. Ooh, there's a Viking, though! Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. They're gonna 
They're gonna slowly kill everyone at once. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's targeting the edge one instead of the middle one. That's actually kind of bad. Eh, yeah, they're gonna, we're gonna die. No backers are gonna fall. Oh, the night is warm. It could. Okay, it saves a couple workers with it, but it could. God, the entire thing burns on fire. Oh, more drop play in the main base of the Franskar. I mean, Beastie Cutie. And this is good because he's only got Vikings to defend here, and Vikings are not gonna do anything versus Urbans. Oh, yeah, and now there's no units anywhere near to defend. That's really big. I think this game it's might take a while. Thanks. <laughs> They're just gonna eat them. By the way, since we're running a little bit over time here, we're only gonna do one more cast. We're gonna do RCP versus Buckfest, and the rest of the games are gonna be tomorrow. Just FYI. And we already have those games on replays, so they're already being played. All right, there, there's reinforcements being pulled back, but they're kind of getting blocked on this ramp while Ling's coming. Oh, uh, the factories are gonna go down. That's a lot of factories that are dead. And yeah. there's, uh, there should be factories popping on the top right if Beastie Cutie's smart. It's getting a couple of planters. And this is just a really cost-efficient trade for Franskar, the bottom right. Oh god, I don't even I don't even want to look the units lost. That's gonna be scary. Let's do it, let's do it. Look at the units lost. Oh, actually it <laughs> Franskar lost six hundred and seventeen units with the resources of forty five thousand. And BCQ only lost twenty five thousand, so so BCQ has Almost twice been... as much lost for Franskar. Oh we got Devourers incoming now. He's gonna try and deal with the battle cruisers this way. Oh he's gonna try and deny the center base. Uh, the Belkers are just slightly off of position, and he could Ooh, get Oh, there's going to be plagues are going to be huge on BCs. Oh, he needs the plagues! He needs the plague and he needs... Oh, very nice. Oh, and uh, Yamada gonna goes through the dark. <laughs> he storm. made it with Hydras. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hydras? I mean, Mutalists. And there's a big Muta fleet at the top right. Yeah, it's a big flock, and it's actually really good now because it's so mobile, so as long as he stays away from Viking fire, he should be fine. The tick switches have been so many in this game, it's crazy. Oh, he oh, goes the radius! Oh, no, no, that's so many radiant. Okay, he splits up some, but he really just splits them into several groups of death instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> they all die. <laughs> wow, that's... Every single group he split had one irradiated <laughs> muta in it. Oh my god. Two, two mutas make it out alive. Irradiate is a good spell. Uh, I want to see the plague. Oh, plague is plague done? Yeah, I think so. Really want to see plague on yeah, this plague piece. Yeah, plague is done. It's just such a juicy target. See, the thing is, dark storm is good versus battle cruisers, but if there's enough tank to support, well, they can the just beasts can run away, storm. like no matter what, just because they fly. Well, and and also they have the warp drive, so they can super run away if they have to. Yeah, true. Uh, that as well. So, I mean, with the plague, at least you can chase them down, and, and just you just need one hit, or at least it forces them to never fight, where they can at least wait around. And then fight, right? It's just such a crazy game because they're both maxed with great upgrades. Actually, Beast Security is lacking upgrades compared to his opponent. And and they both have a bank, and none of them are winning. Like, you'd like assume, like, okay, like some of them would be like, he's such a Ooh. dominant position, he should win by now. Drop but the six is gonna save that hatch. Look at that. I think and that drop that hatch. I think that drop was meant for the main base. But it kind and of at worked. the top right, that base is gonna get denied yet again. Or at least by appearances. Oh, never mind. Science Vessel Fleet. <laughs> the Vikings are getting a plenty too. Okay, here's the Dark Swarm push that they need to versus them. Oh, but so much for your Modigon, and they can warp drive out of there, and he kind of should, but I don't know, he doesn't really need to. Oh, not... the Siege Tank is under the Dark Swarm. Oh, there's nothing. Everything's under the Dark Swarm. Oh, the Vikings should not get even close to this. There we go. He, he kills it with its own splash. Oh, that works. More night as were. I mean, at this point, Franskar, all he needs to do. Well, okay, let's be serious. Let's be real. Look at the bank of Beastie Cutie as well. Wow, yeah, it's. Bank is, the bank is real for both of them. But the beasts the are so. The problem is gas. The problem the is the gas, Franskar. Yeah, but, and the battle cruisers are so slow that so whenever Beastie Cutie attacks with the battle cruisers, Franskar just goes and counterattacks in a different direction. Oh, and he's gonna lose the battle cruiser, actually. First battle cruisers are gonna fall down of this game. Probably the first. Of many. Oh man, and these are zero zero cruisers. They're just so good. And here we go. The Nidus Worm is gonna get in and deny this base yet again. There's no battle cruisers here to defend. He can repair this planetary all day long, and he should repair. Uh, the doing. problem was he he made the repair, but then he got to full health, so they stopped repairing. Yep. Does shift clicking help with that? No, there's just gonna be too much stuff. 
coming in from that that nidus. Yeah, now that it's cool down for the infinite planetary. units stream from that. Oh, nidus. and he poops the creep. So once the planetary the goes down, he can't re-expand there easily. That's actually kind of mean. You know what I'm kind of missing from this game, though. I want to see some nukes. <laughs> this game needs some nukes. Dude, you're already seeing some PCs. This is some crazy end game. Oh, plug on the science vessels. Very good. It's gonna throw up another. Wow, it got a lot of stuff out of that defiler before it died from that irradiate. Oh, and a stream of lings. Planetary's already off cooldown. Oh, it's getting close though. Only six seconds, and he can start. Oh, but it is so. Oh, those hydras could have sniped some science vessels. Another plague came down as well. Wow. Viking fleet should get shut down. But you know what? The planetary fortress cooldown went up again. Oh wow, there you go. Ooh, Devourer is in play. Where are the battle cruisers? I think they're slowly they're not they're a little bit unsure what you're they're, gonna do. They're they're running them. around towards the bottom middle. Yeah. They're kinda like killing a hatch, running away, killing a hatch, running away. And he's finally committing upgrades to them. Good, good. How, where are his armories? There's only one? You know what? These guys are not actually 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm pretty sure they're upgraded. Yeah, no, they're actually 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, they are 0-0. Zero, zero. Never mind. But oh, yeah, he's, he's only had thing. one armory this whole game, it seems. Which is, which has been a, a big game. Yeah, it's like, it's like a game that goes way, way late. You think you want more upgrades. Unfortunately, there was a question here in the chat. The Starbo Dude, AI drop. is really bad. We're, we're working on that, but it's going to take a while, unfortunately. Here comes the drop. I don't know if yeah, it's... AI is not very moddable. No, did you ping there? Yes. Okay, okay. Just like... But so is actually working on the AI. It said he wanted to work on the AI at some point, though. AI is a very complicated beast. Yes. And not very friendly to mod. Oh, he's not activating planetaries. Well, he is, but it's kind of too late. Too late, yeah. and those hydras are going to get into production. But those BCs, I don't know. Those BCs, can they actually take a fight versus three three hydras on, on open ground? Man, I think They're Fransker, just going to yomato their asses off. I think Franskar might get this game. I, I feel he's like slowly and surely gunning Look down the top right. These hydras are just shooting an endlessly repaired... Oh, if he used Blight... On those SCVs. Oh, that's that would have been. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh, but there's so much to radiate, though. He might. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. The SCVs are dead. Oh, they're all dead. That's so many oh. SCVs. And there's just a constant swarm of hydras coming in now. Those hydras are gonna go to work on those PFs. And, and on the bottom right, is... some factories got cleaned up. BCQ is just so starved for gas. Like he doesn't have enough gas, and he's never been able to take the island expansions. It's it's all he's got the center and that's what he's really hoping for. Yeah. It's yeah, it is. It has been a game of gas, except Francis can do more with his minerals than Beastie can do with his. Yeah. Well, like you said, though, I would have liked to see more vulture usage ro roaming around the map. I think that would have worked wonders, to be honest. Like that's usually what we bank for, it, for sure. We usually see like. Beastie could do that in Mech Play versus Earth. Like, remember the gamer's impact from the from the Starbucks Invitational beta invitation? Like, he he roamed everywhere with the, with the uh, vultures and snipe workers all the time. Ooh, he hasn't you, been well, doing that, that was whenever vultures uh, had could be reactored. Well, still, I still still seen him do it after the reactors and still pretty um, strong. So here's here's what Franzker is doing right now: is he's spending all of his gas on Scourge? Yeah. I guess he is. I don't know if they can kill BCs be like before they get up to them. Maybe if they get uh, an ensnare up first. Oh, and another doom drop with like tons of lings. Franscar has 109 lings. Look at his bank. He's actually dwindling down. He's got no money left. He does not. He's used all of the left maps worth of money. He needs to kill his opponent. Oh, wow. Yes, he doesn't. Wow, he only has top middle base. Actually, I don't know if BCQD knows that the time is running out for Franscar. Well, on the same time, no, Beastie Cutie has more mining going for him than his opponent. Yeah, but Franskar, right now, he's in the main with Cracklings again on the factory line. But this time, there's nothing to defend. Yeah, he's just gonna they're lift. Those. They're lifting, they gotta get out of there. Yeah, and he's gonna yeah, lose so much supply to those. It doesn't matter whenever he's he's a maxed mech army. Oh, like, he's gonna draw and go for the middle. He needs to activate the planetary, and he needs to get some irradiates down. Maybe some some matrix noises. Oh wow, Franskar's just pushing back there. Yeah, he backs. He's scared now. He's he's down on supply. 
He's yeah. broke. He can't make units. He doesn't have the six. B security might. If B security can just hold the middle, he doesn't really care about the rest of his base anymore. Except that he doesn't have as many upgrades as he was like. Um, he's actually going to bring the battle cruisers home to defend. In the meantime, Franskar again is going to contend. If Franskar can get top right base up, that's going to be a saving grace for him. He's actually bringing a drone just because he believes that he can do this. Armory goes down. Fusion core goes down. Battle but it's like, how do you actually kill anything in the mech army now? Yeah. Wow, he's gonna get one command center, he might just get another one. B security really has the minerals to just keep making command centers though. Uh, maybe if he keeps them scared and just trying to take that top right base and keep them like pinned back, that might buy him enough time to expand. Oh no, there's a scan on the on the six. Oh, but, eh, scourge count. Oh. Oh, here we go. Scourge is incoming. Oh, gonna get one battle cruiser. Ooh, man. I mean, remember this? How much gas he put into the scourge fleet? Yeah, it's crazy. It's more the PCs like PCs are at the six. Oh, but he's wasting scourge. He can't Vultures. do that. That CC fleet is just gonna kill him if it comes to to starve out scenario. Oh, Vulture's finally roaming the map, but he's just discovering empty mineral lines, uh, which which actually is kind of good news. That means that there's. <gasps> all right, all right, scourge are coming in. Hot on PC fleet. Oh, the warp drive and the Viking. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> they all go on one BC. <gasps> oh, and there was also Vikings. Very nice That's micro so painful. Security. Dude, he, how much gas is that? That's 75 Scourge per two of those. That was yeah. so much gas. I don't know, I don't know any math. I can't calculate that. So, uh, It was a lot of gas. It was a lot of gas. <laughs> And the center is now mining double gas geysers for Beastie Cutie. This is putting him in a phenomenal position. Ripe for taking the game. Man, I was like, I was about to say that the game was going to go to Franscar like five, six minutes ago, but now Beastie yeah. Cutie is turning this around. And the bottom middle is still uncontended, almost, yeah, it's almost untouched <laughs> minerals. Look, I like how Beastie Cutie's base is like this area to the right of the center. Yeah, just like this was back. That's, and that's his base. Oh, that's his base. Oh. Banshee is doing a lot of damage, but like this, this base is so oversaturated anyway, because he has too many drones than he needs right now. Oh, he's gonna oh, keep he's going for this. Right, that center base, it's just gonna kill him. Yeah, he can't contend with that. And if you know what, if Beast Cutie can just snipe that Knight as Worm, then the, all this aggression would stop. Oh, but he's gonna kill the base with a. Oh, here comes the Scourges though. Okay, he has. Uh, he can plague, he can Dark Swarm. Oh, Plagu! He's, he's, he's with the island. Well, the Hydras under the Dark Swarm can do so much damage to these plagued battle cruisers. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, these BCs can just keep poking but an he island. Doesn't, and no, doesn't he know about so the. Good. He knows about the Nidus Worm. Just please kill this Nidus Worm. Why is he <laughs> keeping this alive? Maybe he because the longer he's alive, the the more more money he's making from the center. I don't know. Uh, this doesn't make ah, sense. Ah, Franskar is slowly dropping in supply. He's not making very much money. He just needs the absolute sickest of plays. Oh, very oh. nice. And that's not one of them. No, he, he doesn't want to hit the sickest sickest of plays with the dark swarm. And the plague. Here we go. A oh, very small group of units. Oh, gets denied by the mines. And yeah, Franskar is down to nothing right now. And his opponent is maxed. This is so scary. Indeed it is. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I hate to call it too early, but I mean... I don't know if this is too early now. It's it's a mech army. Double supply over Zerg. What is the army supply? We're at... 146 army supply of Beast Acuity versus the 59 of Franskar. Yeah, I can just see down there. I'm retarded. We are in dire straits. What does that mean, dire straits? I know it's a bad. 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 <laughs> it's, it means <laughs> bad. Good, good. Thanks for pointing that out. Critical tipping point of possible bad badness of losing. That's the that's the dictionary definition of uh, dire straits. Thank you for bringing that up. Oh, that one battle cruiser has. Okay, it's being repaired actually. All right, it's okay. Franskar has a uh, one, two, three, four, five minas and three scourge. It's fine. It's got this. And there's mines. All right. 
All right, re-expanding to the six again. He needs to keep trying that. Like, might as well. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? He's he could be getting gas from the bottom left. I guess gas is actually cheap at this point. It's minerals that is his real problem. Yeah, oddly enough, it's Beast Cutie that needs the gas. Yeah, Beast Cutie, he's still got a bank he's of minerals. He's got so many minerals that he can make oodles of planetary fortresses oh, to oh, protect oh. his base. Look at that. Oh, Beast Cutie. See, we talked about Beast Cutie and how he has this really turtle, hard to break mech style. He just won't die. And I'm, I think they're both going to be very happy that this is the last game of the day because I don't think they would. I don't think they would have energy to play anything more today after this game. This is, <laughs> like, I don't have energy to cast more games almost. I'm gonna, we're going to cast another best of three, but which I heard was really good. I just have it on replays. Uh, but, but I, I bet BCQ is feeling pretty good right now, though. Yeah, I, I bet, too. This, this is such a frustrating situation for France Guard. Like, he's he's just scraping versus a, a maxed-out mech army. Yeah, it's just like, what what have I got in my pocket? Maybe some lint? Can I yeah. pour some lint with those? Yeah, yeah, it's really, really hard to do anything at this point. We even got Voltress roaming around now. Does he finally have Voltress speed? He does. Up among among his, his oodles of upgrades, he has Voltress speed. He's got several dozen upgrades, actually. Do you use dozen in English? Like a 12 is a dozen? Yeah, dozen is full. Okay. Do you have one for twenty? A SNES? Something like that? No. Okay. Well, that's just that's just, <laughs> that's just Scandinavian, I guess. They used it in Denmark a lot for their number system, and sometimes in Norway. But it's really like old. Like they used it in ye older days. All right. I mean, uh, he could attack this, but really. Well, as soon as he's even morphing one into an OC. Does he even have a science vessel? There's four science vessels somewhere that can just irradiate this and shut this down. Here they come. Oh my god, he didn't even upgrade these BCs. That's insane. Well, he hasn't. the BCs hasn't been really used for their damage, it's more for the space. 12 game. kills, 7 kills, 10 kills, 29 kills, 21 kills, 22 kills, and 21 kills. All of those BCs are, are commanders and sergeants and all that jazz. Oh my god. Oh, plague on the science vessels, but I don't think it's going to matter anymore. So the cost immediate. efficiency these VCs have done alone is just amazing. Yeah, I like seeing that that battle cru even battle cruisers have a place in Starbo. Like they're not useless units that doesn't have a role. Oh, he's just gonna get modded on that. Hell out of this sort of scenario. Oh wow. Yeah, I, I think that's oh. it. I don't think BCQ ever needs to attack his opponent if he just keeps doing this. I think France is just gonna leave because he's gonna get broke and he's like, I'm I don't have anything else to do. I, <laughs> yeah, I can't build anything up. I'm just no units left. Is oh, he left? and he so moves in with the scourge fleet, but it's a little bit too late. Oh, that radiate goes down, and he gets two battle Oh man! Oh, and a right. third. No, uh, almost finish a third. up this cast. Yeah, I will. We'll... Right back. Okay. But he almost gets a third battle cruiser. And if I'm gonna cast some more, my voice is gonna get so hoarse. So yeah. France Guard soon tipping under 100 supply. B security is still maxed, making four new battle cruisers. That's insane. He's just remaking instantly the battle cruisers that he lost, and that was so expensive for France Guard to kill. And there's no way France Guard's gonna get back into this game. This is just gonna be a very slow death, and I don't think he can do it anymore. That middle base paying off for B-Security, this top right base paying off so well. This base is going to get re-expanded though, France Guard might be able to make something work there. He's attacking with a very odd set group of units, and G, G, B-Security takes this series.